I love this, you guys. Oh my gosh. I love my Snapchat community. If you guys are not following me on Snapchat, I will put the link below because I love connecting you guys with video one-on-one. -on -one. It's so much fun and I feel like I'm bringing this virtual reality of friendship to real life. So if you haven't hopped on Snapchat, I encourage you to get on there because it is a sweet platform. Today's video is about five ways that I stay positive. And this is a question that I get asked a lot. How are you so positive? You're always pumping out inspiration and motivation. Don't you ever have a bad day? And just like anyone else, the answer is yes, I do have bad days. I think for me though, I have really found ways on how to stay positive. And these are things that I use on a daily basis that I do and they have really kept me grounded. The first thing is my faith is my number one priority. It is my foundation and it is something that I have had since I was a little girl. I remember at age 14, I was at the Revolve Tour, which is a Women of Faith conference. And I was sitting there and I felt like Jesus told me that I was one day going to have a platform that I would be able to speak to women. And so from that day, I really committed myself, allowing him to work in my life. And that is something that I try my best, I'm human, to prioritize is really having that one-on-one -on -one time with him, um, spending time in the word. I love journaling. I feel like it really helps keep me grounded and it reminds me of my purpose on a daily basis. Number two is surrounding yourself with other like-minded people that speak truth and that will always be there for you and there's someone that you can depend on and rely on. They speak wisdom to you and you would trust their advice in anything. You know, those are the people who are gonna be supporting you but also rooting you on. Those are people who are not gonna bring you down with negativity, they're only gonna build you up. And in those times that you might be going down the wrong path, they're gonna be correcting you in a loving way, not in a negative way. And so I encourage you to find those people in your life grounded and also have a positive mindset day to day. Number three is staying balanced. Balance is so hard and for me personally, I don't know if I'll ever achieve a fully 100% balanced life, but I wanna strive for that balance and I know that in different seasons of my life, that balance is gonna look different. You know, one day, when and if I am blessed enough to have kids, I know that my balance is gonna look different. It's gonna be balancing time with my kids, time with my husband, time for the business. It's gonna look different, but for right now, my balance is balancing work, fitness, and my relationships. And I think that is, those are three fundamental things for me that I need to always prioritize that I'm spending a semi-equal amount of time. Obviously, there's gonna be days and weeks that you might be spending more time on your business or more time in health and fitness or more time with your relationships, and that's okay. When you lay your head on that pillow at night, you feel like you conquered that day. You feel balanced, you feel fulfilled in all of the passions in your life, and maybe that's something different for you. For me, my passion is business. I love learning about business. I love being an entrepreneur. You know, and for you, it probably isn't business. That's just one of my biggest hobbies. So I want you to figure out three to four things that you really, truly feel like you need to have a day-to-day -day in order for you to feel balanced, and then strive to achieve that balance, whatever that looks like and that is gonna be a season to season thing that's gonna change and grow and evolve and be okay with that and be willing to change and evolve with that. Number four is spending 15 to 20 minutes alone by yourself and really focusing on loving yourself and giving yourself what you need. It might be walking your dog alone. It might be going up to the mountains and taking a hike. It might just be going out for a walk. It might be a bath. It might be cooking. Whatever it is, take that 15 to 20 minutes for yourself a day, technology free, phone free, TV free, whatever it is, and really focus on yourself, internalize, how your day has been or how you want your day to be, whether it's before your day starts or after your day has ended, and really try and set some goals for yourself and evaluate them and hold yourself accountable to that. I think it's super important that you take the time for yourself. Spending that 15 to 20 minutes is really gonna help you a lot in turn, learn to be your best friend. And that's something that I talk about a lot if you follow me on any of my social networks is 
really about self-love and being your best friend and be your biggest supporter. And so that is something that I always advocate and I always will because it's really important. For me personally, I love journaling. I love sitting down. I love writing out my feelings, goals, my achievements, whatever it is that makes me feel fulfilled. I know for other people, it's taking a bath and just sitting there and laying and not thinking about anything. You know, sometimes that's the best thing you can do when you're around people and you're around things constantly, nonstop. When you take that time to just relax and not think about anything, that is going to help you so much in your day to day when you make that a priority. And the fifth thing is doing what you love. And I know that this is kind of a hard concept for a lot of you guys to grasp, that you're able to make money doing the thing you love or you're able to spend all your time doing the things you love, but it is possible. And it's not gonna happen overnight, but it is possible for you to take risks, step outside your comfort zone, leave that corporate job, leave that job you don't like and pursue something that you love. And it's not gonna be an easy road. It's not gonna be this overnight success story, but it's gonna be something that will make you feel so fulfilled when you are living your day to day doing the thing that you love most. And I know that it's a scary concept, but it's real. And if you don't take this seriously, you're gonna live your life and you're gonna look back and regret all those years that you wasted doing something that you didn't love. And so whether that's a side project right now that turns it into reality, or if it's something that you're just gonna take that leap of faith and quit your job and start something totally new, I'm all for either one of those because challenge you as a person is gonna grow you. It's gonna also take you outside your comfort zone, which is where you grow the most. I wanna challenge you to write some things down that you're passionate about. Maybe you love your job, and if you do, that's amazing. Keep doing it, keep growing in that, and keep challenging yourself in working for your passions on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're not, take 15, 20, 30 minutes and write down three things that you are super passionate about that you would love to do full-time one day and make that happen slowly. It's over time really prioritizing that in your life and it will get you there, I promise. It just takes hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Those are my five ways that I stay positive on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. Comments are my oxygen, so be sure to leave a comment if you resonate with this true talk at all. I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear your five ways that you stay positive on a daily basis and we can learn from each other. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more True Talks. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are in the loop for all the upcoming videos and shenanigans that I have coming on my channel. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Mwah.